Guys, it is your last week to get entered to win this compound triple 12 valve Cummins plus the $5,000 cash. But in order to get entered to win this truck plus the five grand, you have to head on over to lmpgear.com and place an order to get entered to win. Guys, 15 times bonus entries are back for these last few days, and this is your last chance. So it's now or never. Head on over to the store if you're on the fence and you're thinking about entering because your time is almost up. Grab those entries because somebody's got to win this thing. That person could be you. Very next day, and we are hopefully gonna be able to make a lot more progress today than we could yesterday. I'm well stocked on buckets of structural screws. I'm well stocked on 16 foot two by fours, and we're gonna be getting to working on the interior even more so yet. Yesterday, it was a real struggle. I got some ideas on how I'm gonna make this a little more effective today. Um, I'm still gonna to try to finish up this like any small pieces that I can use for my scraps from taking down all the shelving, I'm gonna try to use. But for all the big long pieces that we need, for all along the longer distances of the walls and stuff, that's where these are gonna come in. These are gonna make up the difference. It's gonna hopefully go fairly smooth. So that's gonna be the process is to get these two by fours thrown up all throwing up all along the walls on the inside today, or as much as we can at least until I've got to go and uh, tend, to, tend to some plans I have for this evening. So just to get as many of these two by fours hung for our steel as we can for the liner panels. And hopefully we get a lot of progress. So got a table salt today. I got extension cords ran from the house all the way to the barn, which is like 150 feet or so of cord. And then uh, we're gonna pull these boards up and get to measuring, cutting, and using up the rest of the scraps that we can for the small pieces and the corners and stuff that don't need nice straight long boards. But for everything else, we should be good on material to line the entire thing with the two by fours for hanging our steel. So let's get to it. Hopefully we can knock out a ton of this. later this is such a simple process and i'm doing it pretty stinking easy on my own i'm using a little block of wood to prop the board up on the one end so we can tack one level it tack the other side makes it way easier but let me show you what i got done so far so i've got all of the two by fours 24 inch spacing all the way around they're pretty much exactly lined up with the ones behind it and that is for hanging our tin for the interior of the barn. Now, again, down here in the corners, I use these scrap pieces, which of course you're never gonna see them, but I use these scrap pieces and I fasten them to the post for more than anything, just so I know the proper spacing without having to try to measure it and then like put a screw down in the top or the bottom to try to hold it in place and yank it around. I just put that block there basically for the proper spacing to match the width of these posts, that's the four inch side, but really it's three and a half inches. And the corner posts, they have the six inch side facing the four inch sides, which are running down the wall. So I put the block there to make the spacing proper so that the tin on the wall is gonna be perfectly flush all the way across and there's no sway or wave in it. And then basically I drove a four inch screw at an angle basically tying into the post more than anything, but really into the corner of the post in that block. Um, that way it's tied into the post very, very well. And I did the same thing, of course, with all the all the ends down here, uh, but that turned out really well. Pretty simple process, really. 
you always think you're gonna get more done than you really end up finishing. Like today, between going to the Home Depot, which is the closest place that had lumber that was open today, pulling all the materials that I grabbed today, which was the two by fours and a bunch of the screws and stuff just for today's project. And then getting everything cut, you know, measured, cut, level, everything, you know, between the running around and this, um, I mean, that was probably about five hours, give or take between the work and finding the stuff, getting it unloaded, loaded, driving back and forth to the store, back to the house, you know, just to get just to get this one wall done here today and i gotta take off now but one wall at a time i mean if we can get tomorrow if we can get this whole backside done and all that down there we're gonna be in pretty good shape to hang steel and then other than that um we're gonna be done with all the wall prep for the tin and then we just have to focus on getting all this stuff loaded up on my trailer condensed and then back into the garage that way we can work on rafter reinforcement or truss, truss reinforcement and then, you know, work on that. So that way, when we have our solution for that ceiling tin, you know, everything's plenty strong to support all that. And then we should be in pretty good, should be in pretty good shape. But anyways, guys, that's going to be it for today's episode of Shop Project. Pretty much, it's pretty much like DIY dream shop on a budget because you know all the quotes that i got to do what i'm wanting to do and accomplish was just like ridiculously expensive compared to like the cost to just make it efficient and make it work for what i want to do which is panel the inside do a tin ceiling blow in insulation and then you know call it good which technically even though the garage door siding for the walls is insulated you could even blow in insulation from the top, even when you put the tin on all the walls from the attic, you could literally fill all the walls with blown in insulation if you really wanted to. And it would be plenty, plenty easy to heat and to cool this place with hardly anything, honestly. It would be a super easy thing to do in a space that's only 30 by 40, 1200 square feet. I mean, not a, not a very hard space to heat and cool. Excited about that, but I gotta run guys. If you have not heard, we are doing 15 times bonus entries. This is your last week to get entered to win this 95 compound turbo 12 valve cummins plus five thousand dollars cash if you want to win that truck this is all you have to do go to lmpgear.com place an order and you automatically enter to win if you grab a mystery box you can get 20 times entries exclusively for those members and then on another note every day until june 3rd on the last day we're going to be drawing two customers each day who place orders that day and giving them $50, whether it's through PayPal, a Visa, if you don't have PayPal, whatever you guys wanna do. And then uh, just as a thank you to our customers, each day we're gonna pick two customers that place orders on that day, and then we're gonna be giving $50 to two customers each day until the last day. So as a little thank you. And then also keep in mind this, every order you place adds up towards your total entry. So like if you place an order at the beginning of the giveaway or the middle of the giveaway, and you're like, oh man, if I place another order, do all my entries add up? or do I only get entries for one of my orders? You get entries for all of them. So if you place an order during you know, 1X, 10X, and then 15X, you're gonna get all those entries from all those orders added up to one big number of entries into the drawing for the truck and the cash. Uh, so that's how that works. So super simple process. If somebody has to take that truck home, that somebody could be, you know, could be you just as easy as it could be anybody else. Take your chance because that truck's got to go to somebody and your driveway looks like a very welcoming location for that vehicle. So thank you guys so much. I will catch you in the next video. Peace.